tutorial on the paid service I offer. If you're interested in taking guitar or bass lessons on Skype, you can do that uh, lesson with me. You can be anywhere in the world that gets internet connection, basically. If you can get Skype, uh, you can get going on lessons, and you can learn stuff like that. By the way, who knows what that song was, obviously. Actually, normally I would just say it, but I won't. We'll see if you're paying attention. What was that that I was just playing? You 80s guys will know it for sure. But anyways, Basically, what I do is I set my students up on an hour lesson. It's the same day, same time each week, Pacific Standard Time. I'm in California here, um, so we may have a time zone difference, which is fine. Um, and what you would need to do is email me rockinguitarlessons at hotmail.com. That'll be in the description here, as well as in the edits in this video. And what we can do is match up our schedule, see if we can get you set up. Um, it's 220 for the month, that would be four weeks. So you're paying for the month. Um, and things we work on, you know, with my students, it's really all across the board. A lot of people like to work on songs, I get it. Uh, that's what inspires 99% uh, of us to wanna play. Maybe 100%, but it's a fun way to learn. Um, so the way things are taught, when you get a music teacher, you don't know unless you've ever had lessons, if you get the right teacher, it could really, really excel your playing. And um, us teachers, if we're paying attention to what we're doing, we know by how the student plays and, and uh, just your, the way you think about the instrument and your practicing and all that, kind of what's going to help. Songs really do work for a lot of people because, like I said earlier, it inspires us. I mean, here in Eruption did it for me. And then like Crazy Train, the solo, and Mr. Crowley. Like all those things. Stairway to Heaven, of course. Um, but that's one option that I do with some students. I, for students that uh, have been playing a while, I, really the ball's in your court. If you like, you know, I get students that already have an idea of, hey, Mike, this is what I want to work on. I'm struggling with this. I'm stuck in the pentatonic box. Oh, there's four more of them. Or maybe they just want to get out of the pentatonics and start doing some different um, scales and they're solo playing. So there's lots of ways to approach going about that. Um, songs is one way, breaking down solos is another way. Uh, and I have students, um, several of them in bands, uh, original bands, so I'll help with songwriting ideas, uh, song formatting, uh, soloing, to try and inspire you to bring the best out of you. And I'll know kind of how to write that stuff, obviously, as I hear you play. It doesn't take very long as a teacher to kind of see where you're at. Um, for beginner students, um, it, songs aren't out of the question if you're a beginner. It just has to be the right songs and not necessarily doing a whole song. Getting inspi inspired off of certain riffs that are in songs is a good way to, to learn for a lot of players. Um, I have students in cover bands, tribute bands, so breaking down songs works for them as well. Um, I had a student <clears throat> not too long ago, and we were working on Hotel California, the solo in that, which is beautiful. And he was just having a really hard time. He had he did a good job on the, the parts that he did, but there was things he was struggling with. Um, and then depending on the type of soloing, it may be the way you're picking something that is why you are stuck, feel like you're hitting the wall and you can't get past a certain point. So I'll be able to help you with those things. Um, payment options that I use, I use three of them as of now. Um, it's Zelle, Cash App, and then if you don't have those, so I have PayPal, which obviously everybody knows what PayPal is. Zelle is like between, you have to have your banking app and that type of stuff. Um, so anyways, that's it guys. Um, and obviously you need to add me on Skype. All that information is actually in my description. What I do, in my lessons, when we set you up, is we'll start the lesson halfway through. I hang up. Skype gives me about two and a half minutes or so to send a video. What I do is I recap what I just showed you, call you back, and I send that to you on Skype chat. It, it's there like, it takes five seconds. 
we finish up the lesson at the end of the lesson i send a recap video of what we did for the second half of the lesson what you got to do guys is right click those videos immediately or right after your lesson and save them to your computer because they were getting deleted for a while um, and just put them in a folder a file um, that way you won't lose them i had a student lose like five years worth he was able to get them back but it was uh, kind of a pain to do that so that's all the information that you need Email me, rockinguitarlessons at hotmail.com, and I do offer lessons for bass as well, all right? So Mike Gross here. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't, and appreciate it. Share these videos as well. Thanks.